Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoth.com. In this video we're going to study parallelograms and I'm intending this lesson for approximately 4th grade level. And we are aiming to study what is a parallelogram first of all. And the definition is here. A parallelogram is a figure enclosed by two sets of parallel lines. And to let students really understand that, I like to draw a set of parallel lines and then another set of parallel lines and not just give them the figure that's already ready, but instead just draw the parallel lines that make a parallelogram. So let's say I just draw here any, any line that crosses these two or intersects the two lines that are already there. And then I need to draw another one over here that is parallel to my purple line. And I'm going to just use this ruler to draw a parallel line, kind of using this rough method where I, this is my helping line. I just put the ruler here and then another one here. Now I draw my line. Okay. And then just erase the line that's here. There, now we have a parallelogram. This in figure enclosed in here is the parallelogram. And notice that the definition does not say anything about its side lengths, nor about its angles. And I want to let students discover something about the sides of the parallelogram and the angle measures here. Those facts, while they are you usually you can easily guess something, guess that these side lengths here are equal and these side lengths are equal. You can easily guess that the angle measures are equal here and equal here. But they are not part of the definition and so students can actually discover those facts for themselves by drawing and measuring. So here's one such exercise. Draw a line so you get the parallelogram and then measure its sides and angles. So here I have a figure where these two lines are already parallel. I need to draw one more line that is parallel to this line, somewhere here. It doesn't even say where, so there's lots of choices. I could draw it just like here and get a very skinny parallelogram. Or I can try to move my ruler a little bit more this way. I'm going to try to move it using my rough method, so to speak. Okay. And of course, this is not the only method for drawing parallel lines, but it, it is good enough for sketching and um, it is quick. And now measure its sides and angles. So let's measure. Okay, I want to measure in centimeters this way. Over here. Uh, this is about 12 and a half. It doesn't even show me the millimeters. And yeah, here yeah, I get just a tad less than 12 and a half. But I'll put here 12 and a half. It is really hard to measure, uh, to draw so accurately as to get very accurate measurements that are always the same. So student, you should note that to the students. They should not be worried about it if their measurements seem to be a little off. It's not necessarily the measurements that are off, but it might be the drawing itself. And this one, 35 centimeters here. And then this side. Yeah, it's 35. Okay, so we can notice that these two are the same length and these two are also. How about the angles? Let me get my protractor. Here's my protractor to measure the angles. Okay, I need to put this vert... Yes, my first angle I'm going to measure. It's vertex is here, so I need to put the middle point of my protractor there and line my protractor with the line at the side of the angle. Okay, so I'm measuring this angle here, from here to here. It's an obtuse angle, from here opening up to here. And so it is a little over 110, 112 degrees, this angle here. Okay, then this angle here, this is now an acute angle, less than 90 degrees, less than a right angle. And it is 68, I think. Okay, you want to make a guess about this and this?
this one here's my zero so I'll go read over here year 68 and even without measuring I can guess this is going to be 112 right Okay, read over here, 100 and, yeah, 112. Okay, students can do a few more of these type of exercises to make sure that they get these kind of results where the opposite corners have the same angle measure and then the opposite sides are of equal length. Now let's go on. Here's another drawing exercise. Draw a bigger copy of this parallelogram, make its sides 30 centimeters long. This parallelogram all of its, its sides are equal, or its sides are congruent, we say. And that kind of parallelogram has a special name, it's called a rhombus. And uh, if I want to draw a copy of it, I need to know something, right? I already know it tells me to make the sides 30 centimeters long. But to make an exact copy of this parallelogram, I need to know its angle measures. So for that, I need to actually measure how long are the angles. I mean, not how long, how big are the angles. But I can't measure the angles without lengthening my side here. Like that. Now. Okay, this is an obtuse angle. It starts here, opens up all the way there. So I read the 10, 20, 30, all the way up to here, 125. 125 degrees. That's actually enough measuring because I know that this and this angle measure add up to 180 degrees. Students might not know that. They don't need to know that at this point. So they can measure that angle too. But I can just subtract and I, I know it should be 55 degrees. Now let's, let me draw. I will first draw my line that is 30 centimeters long, then measure these angles, 55 and 125 degree angles here. And then I make these 10 centimeters, I mean 30, 30 centimeters long, 30 centimeters long. And then I should find those two points here, then just draw in the fourth side of the parallelogram. So first, I'll start out with my 30 centimeter line down here. Okay, then to measure 125 degree angle. This kind of exercise gives the students a lot of lot to do, right? 125. And let's then practice measuring angles and drawing angles. Okay, that's my 125 degree angle. Now I'm going to draw here the 55 degree angle. There, this is 55 now. Lastly, not lastly, I'm sorry. Now I will measure 10, I mean 30 centimeters here and 30 centimeters here. I need to continue this to third. Yeah, just mark it where it's supposed to be 30. And lastly, I'll draw in this last side. I don't need to measure any angles or anything for this last side. It's just this thing. Okay, all done. And here are some more drawing problems that I'm not going to do here in this video, but they practice further this concept of parallelogram and the concepts of measuring angles, drawing angles, and measuring sides. And also the idea that in a parallelogram, the opposite sides are congruent and the opposite corners here are congruent. The angles here and here are congruent. One idea is to draw any parallelogram. The students draw any parallelogram they like by drawing two sets of parallel lines and then measure its sides and angles. Another idea, draw a parallelogram with given side lengths. For example, you tell them that draw a parallelogram where one side is 9 inches and another one is 3 inches. And then they can measure the angles from that. Or draw a parallelogram, parallelogram with given angles. And then they can measure the sides. 